Hello, so um, it's time for an unusual sort of Saturday stream. I don't normally do Saturday streams. The only reason I'm doing one today is um, just due to how many people have been watching the channel sort of recently. Um, so we're not really going to talk too much about coronavirus. Also, this is going to be a short one today, maybe 30 minutes, because I have work tomorrow morning and I have to get up early-ish for that. I don't want to stream too late tonight. But hello to everybody. So this came from Germany today, and amazing, uh, amazingly, every single decimeter in here works. Um, despite the fact I paid like 10% of the price these normally cost. Uh, I got this for like £40, £30, £40 when you include the postage. Lots of sellers want £200 plus for these. But it is a set of old Cold War German decimeters from West Germany. So um, it has six 0 to 50 centigrade ones and six uh, 0 to 500 centigrade ones. Probably not going to be able to see them very well on the webcam. But I charged every single one up before the stream, and every single one is holding its battery, at least to an extent. So that's fairly rare. Um, when I bought these, they were advertised as 500 Röntgen decimeters. But funnily enough, the Germans have just put a sticker there going, one Röntgen equals one centigrade, which isn't really technically true, but it's close enough. Well, I'm calling it what they've literally called it on there, which is a big, long German word that means radiation decimeter. All right, everybody. So, yeah, 200 is definitely very overpriced for these because, again, it's just like the old sets. Annoyingly, I had one of these, but it broke due to age. I need to replace the lens bit in there, but uh, as you can see, the bottom of it's fucked. But um, this was the one that used to display 0 to 500 Ronken, was in the older types. Um, but annoyingly, Germany being Germany, um, and everything has to be different also, that makes me laugh. What a brand name, eh? Fag. Um, but Germany being Germany, the decimeter charger they made is actually pretty good. But the problem with this decimeter charger is it literally only fits these West German decimeters. And the West German decimeters don't fit any in any decimeter charger but this one. Because weirdly, literally all the Soviet and NATO decimeters made by other countries all fit into each other's decimeter chargers. The Germans had to be different for some reason. Nine people only charge our decimeters on our own decimeter chargers. So, um, yeah. It's actually a very good style decimeter charger. Um, but, yeah, it loses points for being, like, brand, you know, you can only charge your German ones on it, and you have to have this to charge your German ones. Whereas, you know, you can buy these type, or like the US CDV ones pretty much everywhere, and they charge basically all the other decimeter pens. Thank you very much, Eric. Oh, I don't blame you. I think that's true to an extent. Um, you know, especially when we make so much gear to kill each other. But, okay, so... Not related to really the stream at all, but um, who can tell me why it is incorrect to have one centigrade equals one Röntgen, or one Röntgen equals one centigrade? Yeah, I saw there was a fag digital decimeter as well on eBay, but that was like a hundred pounds. So I'm glad I got this old retro fag uh, for less. Um, but yeah. In general, if you're part of NATO or the Warsaw Pact or whatever, do not design your military equipment so none of your allies can you you know can't use it. That's a good way of everybody thinking you're a dick. Um, similar to that, Iraniax. Right. So basically, what it is. Well, you got that person fast, Mike. Um, but yeah, a Röntgen and a centigrade are different doses. Uh, one Röntgen is very close to one centigrade, but basically, um, a Röntgen is, um, like you can see from there, those British old radiacs and the updated radiacs, the updated ones in centigrade, the old ones in Röntgens, they use the same unit. But basically, um, a Röntgen, I believe, is a unit, it's the older unit, and it was, one Röntgen is, I think, like a cubed size of air for how much it needs to ionise. But the thing is, human tissue doesn't ionise as well as the air. Thankfully for us, I guess. So you need slightly more energy than one Röntgen to um, ionise a bit of human flesh. So, um, 
basically one centigrade and one wrong gun. It's like saying they're very close units, but if you want to get really technical, they're not the same because one centigrade is about 1.14 wrong gun. Uh, well, it depends. It depends what you mean. There's, there's no, I don't think there's any one really good way of detecting radiation, if you mean scintillators versus Geiger counters versus ionization chambers. They've all got pros and cons. Um, it's more getting the right one for the right use. Geiger counters are probably the best in terms of they can be manufactured fairly cheaply and they occupy a massive different range of things. But again, these sort of decimeter pens, they're the actual cheapest things you can mass produce if you just simply want to give everybody a bit of radiation detecting equipment. Um, but I'm just out of pure autism and boredom going to get the um, convert radiation units calculator online. It's really helpful. Um, I'm going to get this up. And what I'm going to do is I am going to um, set the significant figures to nine. And I am going to convert one centigray into rontgen, so I can tell you exactly how many rontgens a centigray actually is. So one centigray actually equals 1.1402509 rontgen. Um, so yeah, you a lot of people do equate one centigray to one rontgen, but in theory, you should be saying one centigray is 1.1 rontgen or 1.14 rontgen. Hello, the person with a name. So I got a kit of these from Germany. How much do these normally cost in Germany out of interest? Because I got a packet of these with postage for about £40 or something. It was only like 20 odd euros to buy this kit, but lots of sellers want like almost £200 dollars for these. Now, radiation doesn't infect people on the SMR, but you could poison people horribly with radiation. But if you've been shot, that's generally more of an immediate danger. Um, I love on here, though, if I put this close here, the Germans have actually put a list on here of all the different models of wrong, uh, you know, like these decimeter pens. So the old type I have is the uh, FH39C, I believe. It says 500 Ronken, I believe that's this model, the one I fucked by accident. Um, whereas these are the um, type SEQ 2550 and the 25500s. They look the exact same on the outside, but they're um, in centigrades, not Ronkens. If you want to talk about coronavirus, go ahead. These are old Ronken decimeters. Um, I've got quite a lot of decimeter pens. I'm going to do a video on decimeter pens at some point. But basically, decimeter pens um, are things you look through into the light and it measures the amount of radiation you've absorbed. They're very, very basic things. The most basic radiation detecting equipment basically ever made. Um, annoyingly, they're very hard to show on camera because you can never get enough light going through them. But... Basically, when you look through there, you get like a little graph kind of thing and a little needle moves across. Uh, I'd say that's not too bad, Moss in the Gant, especially if it, you're in the US where it's harder to get. That's cool, White Wolf. They are very good masks. Do you have a charger for it, Visa? Because I've got some Bendix. Let me show you my Bendix. Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. We've got the fag and the Bendix out, even though none of this is actually sexual at all. It's just decimeters. So uh, let me... They they were the Finnish ones, weren't they? They were basically these, just... It could be the battery, and it is so totally fucked it won't charge. Um, but in general... Obviously, the thing with these are the usual thing of sticking them on a charger, looking into it, adjusting it till you get the thing to just left of zero before taking it off. About of all my old Bendix ones, I've got a few that don't actually hold charge or just don't charge at all. 
these these ones work right, but some of the others I've got don't. Yeah, it should look like that, where you've got the um, needle, obviously, like that. Um, have you ever listened to Fine Fluke? Um, person's name I can never pronounce, but they're, they're like an old German industrial thing. Uh, the Command and Conquer soundtracks are great old industrial music as well. But, um... Yeah, CDV 742, so these, yeah, so basically I would guess my bet is that the battery is either totally fucked in yours, or um, it's short-circuiting, so it's discharging as soon as you charge it, um, but yeah, that's that's generally what the problem probably would be, because um, as I said, I've got a few decimeter pens that don't hold charge properly, um, this one isn't too bad actually now at holding charge after I've recharged it a load of times, but but yeah, I have got a couple of decimeter pens that I definitely know what your problem is, that yeah, you stick them on, you either can't get the needle to turn up, or if it turns up, it literally goes like that straight off once you charge it, and that's just either due to short circuit or the battery going. No, no ghost ship today. I've already had some wine when I had dinner when I got in from work. Yeah, I'm all right. Um, glad to be home from work. But I'm at work again tomorrow, so you know. I'll, I'll be for the people interested. There'll be more videos during the week about um, what's it coronavirus, but um, today's video wasn't about it. It was about that ballistic shield. Tomorrow's video is a radiation one. Um, I believe it's on one of my old radiation detecting things tomorrow's video. Let me have a look and see which one it was um, that's going on. Oh, it's all the radioactive aircraft dials, although there's still loads less on that than I now currently have because the video is filmed in advance. But it'll be interesting for the people interested in old aviation equipment. Um... Alex, it's hard to say about knowing where you are and what's available on eBay at the moment because everywhere's selling out. Right, they had somebody on the radio today, Zombie Junk, apparently a doctor, and she was saying masks aren't proven to be helpful at all when it comes to infections, but if you're caring for somebody and you know they're infected, you should wear a mask. And if, um, you know, if you were transporting somebody that was infected, masks aren't known to be helpful. So she couldn't even make a bloody mind up on that. Um, and again, I think it's the problem is people just put loads of masks into one category, like surgical masks, like N95 masks, half face respirators, full face respirators, without kind of looking deeper into what does what. Generally, they're cheaper, Tom, off eBay. Um... Basically, pipe, mostly um, a decimeter, so you know how much radiation you're actually encountering. That would be your big kind of protective piece of equipment. Because, again, if you've got something like this on or a digital one where you can look through it and say, oh, I'm experiencing that much radiation, that's a lot better than um, having no clue. And in terms of what can actually protect you, NBC suits, just so you can take them off easily and not spread fallout dust everywhere, and a mask protect you from breathing it in. But if there's huge amounts of ionizing radiation in the air, there's no gear that can protect you. Um, I've not actually got any myself, Putin the Frog. I know a lot of people 3D print them, but I've actually never bought any myself. So I don't know which people who sell them might see or ever do better jobs than other people doing it. Oh, it's, I'm glad to see the same person um, keeps coming back over and over and over again on the stream. Stream, even. That's been blocked like three times or four times already by the mods, but he comes back with the exact same username to get blocked instantly. Yep, 
Yeah, literally any sort of dust suit, because in terms of radiation, because you're not going to get protection from gamma rays anyway. I mean, thick rubber NBC suits give you a bit more protection from beta radiation, like the thinner dust suits. But in general, the main job of it is just so you can easily strip off like a contaminated piece of clothing afterwards. That oh, sounds good, Rich. Uh, that's pretty common at the moment, 45 of both Am Amazon and eBay, because literally lots of them are sold out or totally on back order because of like the panic buying of masks or just people who suddenly want masks. Um, so you see that like Tai Chem suit behind me? That's the kind of thing people could potentially use for fallout or radioactive stuff because it's just the idea that it's like a lot of this gear, it's just easy to take off if it gets contaminated. No, when I say voluntary, I mean charity volunteering work. Nothing to do with the military. Uh, it's not any problem at my end. I've got, not got any internet stuff running other than the stream. Cheers, Tom. Glad you enjoyed the videos. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I don't know why that's happening, because there's obviously nothing I'm doing at my end. Right, Swag, you're going to get a warning if you keep asking about this, because when I say I have no interest in playing Metro, repeatedly asking me to do something I've said I'm not going to do isn't going to change my mind. I work Saturday and Sunday um, at a garden centre near where I live, just doing like a cleaning job up there. Storm Dennis today, weirdly. My volunteer of the Blue Cross on Thursdays, but... Does a Geiger Zal I mean a Geiger counter in English? Um, right, the problem is good and cheap don't normally go together when it comes to Geiger counters. Um, however, let's see. Um, I mean, the one that's easily the best one out of all the little ones I've got is the Therapy. Um, again, they're not too cheap brand new. They're like 150 to 200 euros, but that's the cheapest you're going to get a good modern digital decimeter. These Chinese ones are also pretty good, but I don't know how easily you'll get a hold of one of these. Um, these are like Chinese military, PLA military kind of Geigers. Let me just start that one up. It should give a very similar reading to the SOX in a minute. Um, not the SOX, sorry, the therapy once. It's, um, I've got an Oculus Rift, but I very rarely use it. Most masks will Cherno Inferno because they um, the Mark IV just has a kind of like um, Velcroish hood, so they'll f seal fine. Thank you very much, Andy. Right, let me try and find you one. There's one I have somewhere, and I haven't been able to find it for months, which is my brightest torch. Um, so I'm going to try and dig that one out at some point. Yeah, I might end up reading the book at some point, Eric. It's just the game's kind of one of those games where I'm, I'm not a massive fan of, like, cinematic-style games. Anyway, I'll leave both these Geiger counters out next to each other, and then I'll check they're both reading the same dose after, like, a minute of them both being on. Let's see, then. Um, yeah, if you want one that's really bright, that's one I can definitely recommend. It overheats, so it's not brilliant for long-term use, but it is very good for short-term. Let's see if I can find it. But it's one that has like four big, or like ten big Cree LEDs in it. It looks quite similar to this one, but I'm not sure if it's this exact one. No, it's not this exact one. Hang on. I'm just, I'll give you a link when I spot the one, if there's still versions of it on eBay uh, and Amazon. Right, it's basically this one. Um, I'm just going to link it. Oh, the link's too long to fit into Amazon. Right, sorry. Uh, right, I'm just going to copy and paste the exact name in from Amazon. But 
Oh, what was that? Sorry, Ghost Jesus. Got the whole series of what? But um, but yeah, if you search that one, Andy, um, that's basically the exact same model. I'm pretty sure as the one I've got, where, where I can't find it, and it's not as bright as they advertise because a lot of them they say it's ten thousand plus lumens or whatever, and it's not that bright. It's probably five thousand lumens max, but it's still so bright it's normally brighter than having a ceiling light on in a room if you turn it on in the house. They take like four um, batteries, but if you just wanted a practical size, quite bright torch, um, these are quite good. Again, these are like Chinese ones that get sol uh, sold under loads of different brand names, but this one's quite good because it's um, one with quite a decently bright Cree LED on it for um, the main function. Um, and then it's also got um, quite a bright UV light on this one, like built, you know, they're both the bulbs are next to each other. So, um, this one's quite practical. That's cool, but I probably have to end up uh, Ghost Jesus actually getting it as a um, book if I ever want to read it, because I never really read ebooks properly or whatever. Oh, thank you, Mike. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that one looks very, very similar to the really bright one I have in terms of it looks like it's the same actual LED in it. Um, yeah, it's 418650 batteries, so I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one in terms of bulbs and chipset. Um, it looks just slightly better than the one I had because it has that power indicator thing on it. But Again, I don't think it's going to be 10,000 lumens or whatever they advertise it as, but it's still very, very bright. It's the brightest thing I've seen outside of, like, 500-pound flashlights. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did random content, so let me just start Discord up and I'll send you an invite. I don't have an OM90. If that's the modern Czech one, um, that Myra also make a version of, never used it, the one that looks like an S10. Right, one thing that you could print with a 3D printer, um, I don't know if it would be practical for your survival use, but it would be really practical for if you wanted to sell them, is um, obsolete battery formats, as in 3D printing the case size so you can fit like a load of modern like double A's or something into a, um, you know, on the old battery formats. Because like with those two old Mark II Radiacs, I can't use them because they require 30 and 15 volt batteries. Um, the one on the right I can, because it's an updated circuit board in there. But like those old two ones there, again, they're ones where, you know. Um, if you just type in like 30 volt battery into Google Images, you'll see like the old things. But again, it's just, it's just kind of like people, some people would be willing to pay quite a bit for those because it's just kind of annoying that you get obsolete battery formats. 3D printing the things that the old Soviet batteries take would be fairly good. People already do that, Gary. Yep. As I was saying, I, I remember random content did donate. That's why I'm going to add him in a second. For the people saying the stream's lagging, nothing I can do about that. Because it's not like YouTube lets me change the streaming quality. I can either stop the stream or carry on. But I'm not going to be streaming very long tonight, as I said, anyway. It's probably that because it's a weekend, lots and lots of people um, are already on the internet or whatever. Invite to the server. There you go. As I already said several times yesterday, bowling, no no damage done to them whatsoever. I've already done more damage to my hands today with the chemicals that we use at work. Then, um, yeah. All right, let's see if these update to pretty much the same number now. The displays turn back on for each one. Therapy is currently at 91. This one's currently at 63 microsieverts.
Well, I found if you put a radioactive check source right next to each of them, they get the same number, but the therapy is actually a bit more sensitive. Um, off the main thing, I think it's the bigger metal case on this reduces a lot of background radiation getting through. I'm not doing that today, Weck. I will at some point, Jack, because I've got one behind me and I've talked about it in videos before. But again, problem is too many things I haven't done videos on yet that I've got. And most people just want coronavirus videos at the moment. So they're mainly the ones I'm doing. I don't work at the same place, Machine Pistols, because that was a place I worked years ago, so the answer is no. No, very easy to find plenty on eBay. If it's a denser material, then yes, it's better, but water is actually very efficient at stopping radiation, which a lot of people don't ever realise. Anyway, I'll turn this Chinese one off. It's got a really cool display, but... um, uh, That's a very good price. Post your Discord ID, Magic Platypus, and then I can add you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, £44 for a BEM 4GP is fine, assuming it's in good enough condition. Because again, with any mask, if you pay money for a mask and it's completely falling apart, then no, it's not a good investment. I think I've seen that. Is that the one Radiation King where the guy keeps pronouncing Rontgen, Rontogen, or something like that? Like, oh, it's five Rontogen at the moment. It's like, no, it's not a French word. It's not Rontogen or Rontgen. You know, it's Rontgen, because he, he was a kraut. Yep, as said to people, I've been looking at the videos. That's why I seriously don't believe the Chinese official death count. Right, I'll make sure I wait for you to get your ID in Magic Platypus before I end the stream, because I'll be going off in a couple of minutes. Obviously, I'll make sure you get on and added before I go off. Do you mean 100k infection, Soviet man, or 100k dead? Uh, 100k infections, I imagine, almost certainly. It's probably already at that, but the Chinese numbers are way too low. 100k dead, really hard to say. No worries. The air is windy and rainy outside. Take the uh, space out. Friends request failed, it says with you. Doesn't say why, it just says spelling, blah, 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 blah. Magic platypus. I'll copy and paste it in again because... um. Sometimes it is just Discord being funny, but the problem is it will lock me out of sending friends requests if I put it in wrong too many times. No, you have to copy and paste your name again. Oh, it's capital P, is it? Let me try that. Yeah, there we go, it's worked. Well, basically, with any infection, old people are more likely to die. That's just the way things like that work. Very young and very elderly people and people with underlying issues are the more likely ones to die. As in a pack of five N95 masks for £90. That's very expensive. Let me look up which 3M filter that is, and then I'll let you know, because I can never remember 3M filters off of their names, because they're just literally numbers, and they're not, you know, a proper filter name. Now, of course, the chat moves every single time I try and copy and paste something from it. Um, I'm not getting 3M ones come up for that. I'm getting 6... 
Is that the one that's the ABEC bit with the P3? If so, then that would be absolutely fine. Uh, apparently about 1.8, Gary. So it's a much higher R0 than that. I thought he was 30-something odd, Jack. But yes, the doctor did die of it. I've got loads. Hear me crash. Anyway, I'll be heading off in a minute. So if anybody's got any quick questions they want to put on, put them on now before I go off. No, they don't make dogs. Uh, cats, uh, they don't make gas masks for dogs and cats anymore. They used to in World War Two and World War One. Well, not for cats, but for dogs. Um. I'll be streaming for a lot longer tomorrow night, but as I said, I don't normally even stream Saturdays, and I just did a quick one today. Um, but yeah, have a good evening, everybody. I'll try and enjoy my day at work tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I might see you on your thing later. I don't know, Mike. Depends how early I go to bed or whatever. But yeah, have a good evening, everybody, and thank you to everybody that donated.